I've got my new Note 4 and I always put in some sort of screen protection on it. I've got my heavy duty case but I still want the screen protected just in case. I've decided to opt for this one, a glass screen protector rather than the the typical plastic ones. Yeah, the plastic ones are good but you tend to get bubbles and they're quite hard to put on. They don't really last that long, they get scratched quite easily. Um, and yeah, just, you know, because they're quite hard to replace, I tend not to do it, so I end up with a screen that's just disgusting looking. So anyway, uh, it's not so good on a very expensive phone. So I watched these guys' video, and they make it look like a piece of cake to put it on. So this is relevant to, to any phone. Um, you can get these glass screen protectors for pretty much any phone. From their advertising, it, it looks like it, it's very well protected from scratches and, and you know, basic day-to-day -day use. So it's probably worthwhile putting one on. They're not very expensive. I think that one was about uh, £4 or something. Um, to, you know, but on the the video that they have on their, their website, they make, they make it look really, really easy. And I thought, oh, um, you know... When you watch these things, you think, that looks, I'll do that, no problem with my eyes shut. And before you know it, your screen's covered in bubbles and, and cat hairs and, you know, don't even have a cat. I don't know how the cat hairs get in there, but anyway, it's, uh, it's one of those things, it, you know, they make it look easy. But these guys are doing hundreds of these things a day, I think, you know. Um, so I thought, I'm going to do this one uh, right in front of you and, and let you see how I got on. So I'm going to get started. Um, basically you have to um, open this up. So I'll open it up. I'll see if I can do this well. Uh, trying to make sure that you've got a, a good a good uh, view. So basically we've got the instructions and the this looks like the screen itself. Is. Yep. Looks good. Okay, don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see a wee bit with the light. Okay, I'll put that aside just now. Um, right, basically, we've got a wee cloth and it looks like a, an alcohol wipe and some stickers. Right, okay. So let's take it one step at a time. Right, so basically use the, the alcohol on the screen. So I'll move that out of the way just now, slide that up there and bring in the, the phone. So you can see what I'm doing. So basically, you want to get any marks off the screen. It is a bit dusty actually, and see lots of dust on it. So I'm going to get the alcohol wipe out. And give it a really good rub with that. And yeah, that'll take all the grease and a lot of the dust off. There we go. Okay, and then I give it a buff up with this cloth. And microfiber cloth. Make sure there's no dust or anything on it. Should maybe I switch the phone off first, that might be a better idea. Huh? Maybe do that right now, turn it off. That's better. Buff it up, get my old fingerprints off of that. Okay. So that's the first thing you do. Power it off. Okay. Now, I think we're nearly there. Not a mark on that. And let me see these instructions again. I'll follow the instructions because usually that helps. 
So it's telling me to put two of these strips, two of these stickers on to the top sides. So that's a protective layer there, so that must be the bottom side. Now, this will be the bottom side here, which we peel off, and that's the side we put onto the phone. So this is the top side here. I'm just going to stick. These, let me just think where is the best place, probably on here. And I'd say one down here. Okay. Now, we're going to remove the protective film. Once it's uh, once it's removed, you can't put this down. Um, once we remove that film, um, you can't put it down, or it'll pick up all the dust and dirt. So this is a tricky bit. So I'm just making sure that I'm I'm actually ready for it. So I really want to line it up with the button and the front-facing camera. Really. Mm. Didn't quite go across the whole screen. Hmm. Okay, that's it there. It's just slightly Let's speak to the rounded screen. It's slightly smaller than the screen itself. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it on. See how it goes. I mean, it's just slightly smaller. It actually won't reach both sides. Mm. Okay. Right. Let's peel this. Peel this off. And one of my stickers is stuck on it already. So, right here we go. It's coming off. No, it should just be a matter of placing that down top of the phone screen so going I don't know if you can see that it's slowly spreading out I'm just letting that lie I'm not pressed it yet I'm just going to ease that out. It's always one wee bit, isn't it? Right, I've got one wee bubble there. I don't know if you can see it. There is a wee bubble. I don't know if that's a bit of dirt. Bit of mist. Everything else is sitting nice. It's all sitting well. I mean, actually, prise that up and see what the hell that is. I think it is a wee bit of dot. Can you see that there? Probably not. I don't. Yeah, right there. Tiny wee bit of dust. Hmm. Right, I'm just going to leave that. Let me just see. I can live with that. I mean, it's sort of it's on really quite well. It's just that tiny wee bit. I don't want to lift that up. Should over time go nice and flat onto that, but we'll see. Um, according to the instructions, so it's not too bad. You can see a wee ridge up the end, and you can really feel that on. It's quite different from a plastic one. It really, I don't know if you can see it. There's quite a ridge there where this glass one is. Um, 
So let's see if I can get into my. It seems to work okay. It's just booting up, so it's a wee bit, a wee bit sluggish. But yeah, that was not too bad compared to a plastic one. It's a lot easier, but you know, uh, you've obviously got to make sure that it's uh, absolutely uh, spotless before you uh, before you put that on. Which, as you can see. Um, I thought it was spotless, but you know, it shows up really well once you put the glass on, so That's it, that's us um, Yeah, I'm not sure, I'll see how we got on with this uh, glass one and yeah, yeah see, if it's, see if it's as good as they say it is Obviously, you could see it didn't go 100% to plan, but you know that is the joy of putting on your screen protector. Sometimes it doesn't go 100% to plan, um, so um, it feels pretty tough. It feels like it's you know take a good bit of punishment. Um, and although it's not quite reaching the edges of the screen, um, the visible screen. Uh, you don't really notice that actually you don't notice that at all but yeah it's it's uh, it's not bad it's not bad um, I don't know if I'd prefer the plastic one actually the plastic ones but I'll use this and I'll see how it goes under use if it's uh, if it's good or not but, um, thanks for watching I hope this helps you in some way I've had the glass screen protector on for about a week now and I must say I you know uh, the screen protector is great it's really tough and it's it's really uh, you know it, it pretty much does what it says it will do but you can see here there is a distinct ridge so even though it's, it's, it's good for me personally I really don't like it. After using it for a, a, you know, a good few days, you just get this. It's a big ridge that's on it. It makes the phone feel ridgy. <laughs> it just doesn't feel uh, very good, you know. When you take it off, it, the phone is really nice to hold, but this just adds an extra sort of sharpness to it that I really don't like. And you can see there. I don't know if you can see really closely. Um, the it doesn't quite reach the edge of the screen. There's about you know a millimeter gap there. Oh, focus. There's about a millimeter gap there. Don't know if you can see that. Okay. If I put it like that, you can see it. There's about a millimetre gap between the actual edge of the glass and the edge of the visible screen. Um, and on this side, there's probably about a quarter of a millimetre. So actual fact, this, this screen protector, which is for a Note 4, is slightly small. If it was a wee bit bigger, it would probably be better. But then you, you have a wee curve in the screen, so it's probably, you know, it has to be that size because of the, the design of the phone. Now that leaves you with this ridge and it's very noticeable sometimes, you, you really do see it. Um, my camera's focusing on the wrong things here. But you know, you get the idea, this ridge is really um yeah, for me it just doesn't work. It's not it's not nice. Uh, you know the, the phone feels great with that off. I think I'm gonna try the plastic ones because they're obviously much, much thinner. Uh, and less noticeable so I'll see how I got on with the plastic one but for me the glass one on the Note 4 it doesn't really work to be honest um, uh, I'm not that impressed I like the toughness of it I really do it's really great but it, just how it sits on the phone doesn't work for me it looks like a big piece of glass on the front of your phone it just, <laughs> it just stands out it really does just stand out so 
Um, yeah, think about that before you buy one. I mean, if you're going to keep your, your, your phone in your pocket with your keys or fling it in your bag or whatever, if you treat it rough, then this is probably quite good. But it does take away from the look of the phone as well, I think. You know, sometimes that ridge is really noticeable. And you can see up here, right up there, I'm not seeing it very well because of the reflection of the window there, but th there is like a, a, a ridge here that just shows up. Um, there it is, you see it all the way along, and especially down on the white piece here, where it stops. You can see that all the way around it, you know, let's get up along here. Um, obviously I'm pointing it out here because it's on a camera, but, you know, you really can see it, it's really noticeable. So, it, bear that in mind if you're buying a glass screen protector. I'm going to use the plastic ones, but okay, that they're really... You know, nowhere near as tough. They scratch up very easily. Um, but, you know, you can hardly see the things are invisible. When I knew they're invisible, you just need to change it more often and you've got the problem with the fitting the things. are quite difficult to fit, but, you know, uh, at least you, you don't see it. So anyway, that's my verdict on the, the uh, glass screen protector is you know it is tough but for me i don't like it, it takes away from the aesthetics of the phone so uh, it's coming off um i hope this has helped you in some way and uh, yeah good luck with your screen protectors <laughs>in through the, the, the gaps that have to be left in order for the phone to work properly. So that's just a quick update um, and let you see what's going on there and also just to let you know that I actually won't be using the glass screen protector that I bought, I will be changing that to a plastic one um, purely because the sensitivity of the screen is reduced by uh, quite a bit actually, it's, it's annoying a lot of the time. Uh, it's it's mainly at the edges, uh, especially the top here. Sometimes you just like 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 that. <laughs> it's just like you know, it's, you know, and, uh, you know, paid a lot of money for this phone. Uh, I want it to work, so it's coming off, and uh, I'll be putting on one of the cheap plastic ones that you get. And that should be absolutely fine while it's in this case. If you're not using that case, probably the glass one's quite good because it's 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 uh, it's really as I said it's really tough and uh, uh, it's quite good. Uh, so anyway, 